Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, back up in it. Uh, we got another leak look, dirty leak, hitting the gossip, hitting the gossip webs, and we're, we're checking it out, we're hype on it. Yep. And it's a big, uh, big model, and it's the Crazy Light Boost 2016. 2016. And they really went boosty on them. Oh my God, I'm so excited for these. That's some hella boost. Yeah, dog. so it's just um, some leaked pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, this shoe looks amazing, and um, we'll tell you guys why right now. So the specifications for this shoe, um, the upper is going to be a jacquard. Jaguar. Jacquard. Jacquard upper with um, print. Uh, okay, I don't know what the fuck that means, but um, we're well, just a, gonna put prints on it probably, right? Okay. Uh, so the jacket upper. Uh, that's what it looks like. It looks nice. It looks very nice. And um, Adidas has been killing it, you know, with the D Lillards. They're putting jacket upper on, uh, they put a jacket upper on that for only 105 bucks. Yeah. So, um, Jackard is like, for those of you who don't know, it's like a performance woven, basically. like the Jordan 29 and the Jordan 30. Mm -hmm. um, also, something else that reminds me of it is the brand Black Ballistic Nylon. Right. And I, I kind of think that's where a lot of shoe companies are moving. I think Knits kind of. Uh, not really it anymore they're kind of going with like thinner more tightly woven stuff yeah which it adds more support and is a little thinner and maybe even a little lighter i'm not sure about the lightness but yeah so that's that's the direction the uh, performance basketball is kind of moving in right now one thing i don't understand is why jordan like jacks up the price so much for performance woven. it's a basically like a t-shirt and i don't think it would be too expensive well to it's a little it. more complex than it, a it is but i mean like it can't be that much more complicated, you know? Yeah, well, Jordan, they're just, they're, you know, especially if you're talking about the, the, the Air Jordan model, they just, you know, they have to keep a certain price going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. To keep their, but, their um, equity. They can't be dropping $100 Jordans. Yeah, but then the Jacquard upper is not the only thing. No, 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 no. it's Jacquard. Jacquard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next amazing thing is it has full length boost and fucking Adidas. Fucking listen to you watch the fucking video yeah. and fucking listen to yeah, us. That's what's I'm, up. I'm thanking yeah. you guys. Let them know. Thank you. They're watching our videos every <laughs> single day. Every single the fucking CEO day. The of Adidas hit hit us up like, yo fam, what's the deal? <laughs> like, can we work with y'all? And exactly. we're like, nah, we don't fucking we don't get in bed with the enemy. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's awesome, you know. And um, the the forefoot looks to be caged. You know, mm -hmm. you, you see this right here. You see this. You gotta cage that boost a little bit, like you know? right, right there. Yeah. And then also, um, there's like a little stable frame type of thing. Yeah, in the forefoot, which is midfoot more, right? Look like. Oh no, it's in the forefoot. Yeah. You know. I think aesthetically, it looks like hot garbage. Really? Yep. I kind of like it. Really? Yeah. It looks kind of flat and long. And, That's true. And and, and sloppy. But then a dusty to me. So full length boost. It looks to be a lot thicker in the forefoot yeah. than the Dero 6 which is awesome and they they caged it so maybe um the the heel uh, for me the heel is a little too much sometimes even in the Dero 6 but then uh in the forefoot it might hopefully maybe feel like a little bit like bounce cushion or maybe yeah. uh, even the zoom yeah because it's caged and since mm -hmm. it's caged uh, it'll be a little bit more bouncy hopefully. i usually like my boost free range <laughs> but cage is fine too yeah. i mean all right, and then you have a TPU heel counter uh -huh. for uh, support. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then the, um, uh, the outsole is actually continental rubber, mm. which is awesome. Right, so if you want to run at like 100 miles an hour <laughs> down a racetrack, you're good. Yep. It's and also crazy low. Yeah, it is. It's like crazy stupid low, low. low, which I don't really like. They should call it the crazy low boost. Oh, <laughs> you think about that, dog? That's good. Hit crazy me up, Adidas. Low boost, bro. Hit me up. Yeah, but then the traction looks to be really nice, too. Yeah. Very aggressive lines. It's, it's it's herringbone kind of. It's yeah yeah. Right there's here. some. Uh, it's definitely multi-directional. Multi-directional, and it looks to have flywire cables basically. Yeah. we know it's not flywire, but, but whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, no, right. So that's really cool. So yeah, I'm very excited. These are supposed to come, I think, like in the summer or maybe like September or something like that. And um, it should be around 120 to 130. One, I heard it's 130. 130, yeah. So, uh, wh how much was the regular uh, or last year's 130? Like, I 120, think. I think 120 or 130. Yeah, 
Yeah, something like that. So um, that's awesome. Yeah. And it's all the technology that you're getting. Yeah. Like, what is Adidas top model shoe? US top seven. selling shoe? Or, you know, like top like. Like their highest shoe, like yeah, probably like the D Rose. Hero six. The D Rose models, like they're big. Yeah. As far as basketball goes. But then they're like the old the the Ultra Boost is their biggest shoe. Yeah, exactly. Right now, for sure. But like. Even though it's maybe not the highest selling, it's definitely the most uh, revered and advanced. highest rated yeah. and technologically advanced and most expensive. And most expensive. So, so same thing with the Dero, Dero 7, but you're yeah. basically getting it, the Dero 7 specs in the Crazy Light Boost 2016. Yeah. However, the D Lillard is... Oh yeah, D Lillard's awesome too. Probably better, probably the best basketball shoe they have. Yep. That was, we should do that top 10 shoes for every uh, company. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. See, you know, <laughs> I'm letting you in the process. Yeah. This is how we work, guys. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it. Are we done? Yep. We, we just done. got some leak gossip. We're hitting you guys upside the head with. Tell us what you guys think about the shoe in the, down in the comment section below. I'm just, I'm I'm psyched on the tech, but just the looks are straight garbage. But whatever, as long as it performs well, that's my main trip. Yeah. However, a lot of people care a lot of, about how it looks which is understandable i so, didn't like the 2015 though like performance wise right i didn't right because you know, of forefoot but yeah hopefully this year the upper was a little and the upper wasn't that nice yeah. yeah even though it was prime native they just didn't do it right yeah. but um anyways that's it uh we'll be back uh we'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for rocking with us my name is don sammy Lear. we are the soul brothers later thanks <laughs>